Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Havens Priest Ballpark here in Houston, Texas, for the 2022 Post Oak Little League Tournament Weekend, or actually week here. My name is Merle Birch and Viper Live Broadcast Director, Maria Carrillo, our producer this afternoon, Daniel Kerrigan, our QA, keeping an eye and an ear on the broadcast back in the comfy, cozy Viper Live Studios, better known as his living room, as we get ready for the minor, uh, minor division semifinal game number two between the Mighty Muscles and the Scrappers. Winner of this ballgame will meet the winner of the Thunder and the Muck Dogs. That is just about to finish up on the field behind us. It's a 5-4 ballgame right now. The Muck Dogs hanging on to a one-run lead. The Thunder have the tying run at second base in the bottom half of the sixth innings. We'll keep you posted on that one. But in this game right here, the Muscles came in as a number six seed. A 10-6 regular season. Got a first round by. Defeated the Bulls 5-4 in their first playoff game. Defeated the Hot Rods 9-8. So they are now 12-6 on the season. The Scrappers, the number two team in the league, 12-4-1 for the regular season. They also got a first round bye. Defeated the River Bass 10 nothing in their first playoff game. Uh, defeated the Iron Pig 64 a couple of nights ago. So they're now 14-4-1. And, and it looks like we have got a walk-off. A walk-off, a 6-5 to five win for the Thunder. I don't know what happened. I just heard cheering behind me, and I saw the guys in blue cheering, and it's going to be a 6-5 final. The Thunder gets the win, so the Thunder will meet the winner of this one here on Saturday night, and we'll have that for you here on Vipe Live at 5.30 at Vipe.com. So we are ready to go here. Actually, a pleasant evening in Houston. When we were here over the weekend, it was about 105 degrees. We had equipment shutting down and video chopping and all sorts of stuff. Knock on wood, everything is looking and sounding pretty decent tonight. So uh, we are ready for this ball game, Six-inning game if you're new to Little League Baseball. And the Mighty Muscles under the command of Chris Hutchinson and Chris Dodson, they will be the visitors in this one. They are wearing the purple jerseys with the white pants. And the scrappers in the, I guess that's navy blue with the white pants. And white scrappers and the red hat will be playing defense first. Batting order for the muscles. It'll be Hayes Toomey, the first baseman leading it off, followed by Lucas Gradmeyer, the catcher. Parker Dodson over at shortstop batting third. Porter Hutchinson, the pitcher, in the cleanup spot. Charles Simmons at second base batting fifth. Nico Juarez over at third base batting fifth. Robbie Helpin at center field batting eighth. Worth Mendes in left field batting eighth. Quinn Persia also in left field. They'll alternate batting ninth. It's William Stewart also alternating the center field. He'll bat 10th. Montgomery Stewart out in right field batting 11th. And Robert Pyle, the second right fielder, batting, nine, uh, batting 12th. 12 guys all will bat here in this minor division ball game for the Mighty Muscles. Try to get you some defense here as we go. I got the lineup for the Scrappers, but not necessarily their position. So I'm trying to jot that down here as best I can. I see 21 over at first base, and as luck would have it, I don't have a 21 on my roster. So that is encouraging. Looks like Matthew Hodge is shortstop. Number 11 is at second base. That's Gray Peden. Bit of a scramble. These coaches, of course, not used to uh, broadcasting, so getting the lineups coming in, it's very last second a lot of time. We'll make it work as best we can. Dylan Gompers will be the starting pitcher. I can tell you that right now. I see him, number 41, on the hill. Just trying to look around and grab numbers as best I can here for the scrappers. So the Thunder defeat the Muck Dogs 6-5 in semifinal game number one. They await the winner of this one. Waiting to get underway. Of course, if we were scrambling, they would have started early. But now that we're ready to go, we'll wait a few minutes. That's okay. I'd rather wait on them than the other way around. Still looking around, trying to grab the third baseman's number so I can identify him for you and the catcher. And I'll try to grab a coach because number 21 does not appear on the Scrappers roster, the first baseman. 
Might be 22, Robert Schultz, but I don't like to assume. Happy to have you with us tonight on Vipe. In years past, we broadcast just the championship games, championship Saturday. We'll have those for you as well with all four divisions. But this year, kind of upgrading a little bit and trying to bring you the semifinal games as well. So we've been out here since last Sunday night. Sunday, Monday, we were off yesterday, back out here for four games today. Pee Wees have their semifinal matchups tomorrow evening, 5.30 and 7.30. Off Friday. And then back for championship Saturday. As Hayes Toomey will step in from the right side to lead it off for the Muscles. Toomey comes in batting 419 on the season. Now waiting the first pitch from Dylan Gompers, a left-hander. And the first pitch is in there for call strike one, and we're underway. To be batting from the left side, so lefty on lefty here. And that pitch a little high and away, ball one. One ball, one strike. One, one pitch. Stays up high, two balls. Two balls and a strike. Sun setting beyond the uh, left field line, right in our eyes right now. It'll get better here as the night goes on. That pitch stays up high. And the count now three balls and a strike to Toomey. Three one pitch. In there for a strike. Bit of a delayed call there. And the count goes full. That pitch up the letters and the count full to Toomey. Three balls, two strikes. Just underway here in this Miners Division semifinal number two. You're good, sir. 3-2 pitch. Down low ball four, and it's a leadoff walk to Toomey. That'll bring up the catcher, Lucas Grammer. Stepping in with nobody out and a runner at first base. That pitch misses, ball one. One ball, no strikes to the Muscles catcher. That pitch in there to let us at first strike. One ball, one strike. Grand Maya, 222 hitter, but a 475 on base percentage, so he gets on a lot. Behind in the count now, one and two. One ball, two strikes. Swung on, foul tipped. That is Ethan Sandoval at first baseman. I just realized, because the coffee wore off a long time ago, that they've actually got their names in the back of their jersey. He's listed as number two, but it's 21. There goes the runner down to second. The throw is a little high, not in time. It'll be a stolen base. So two balls, two strikes to Grandma and a stolen base from Toomey. Pretty good throw from the scrapper catcher, but a little high. So Toomey standing on second base with nobody out. Two balls and two strikes to Grandma. And that pitch in the call, strike three. And Grandmeyer's out on strikes for out number one. First strike out of the ball game recorded by Gompers. And with one out and a runner first base, that'll bring up Parker Dodson. Dodson batting 344 on the season. About eight doubles on the year. Runner at second, one away. And that one guy, it looks like it got him on the foot. So Dodson wears it. Yeah, he's shaking up a little bit, trying to walk that off. 
Time is called. Pitch, that's in the cold, strike three. And Gomper strikes out the side. So the Muscles Eve runners add first and second. But nobody away. Steading, still no score here in this minor semifinal game number two. Batting over to four of the Scrappers. It'll be Matthew Hodge leading it off, followed by Hudson Woldor, Dylan Gompers, Ethan Sandoval, Fletcher Steen, Robert Schultz, Henry Hogan, Brooks Despot batting eighth, Gray Peden batting ninth, Daniel Saab batting tenth, Charlie Taylor batting eleventh, and Houston Lay batting twelfth for the Scrappers. Defense is set for the Muscles. We'll give you the infield first. It's Nico Juarez, Parker Dawson, Charlie Simmons, Hayes Tooney, the infield third to first. Lucas Grammeyer behind the plate. Porter Hutchison on the mound. The right fielder in this first inning is Montgomery Stewart. I'm guessing that's going to be Robbie Halpin out in center. I'm waiting for him to turn around and confirm that. That is correct, and it should be worth... Mendez, number 49, out on the left, waiting for him to turn around so I can get a look at the back of his jersey to confirm that for the Muscles. So here we go, Matthew Hodge stepping in. And the pitch up high, ball one. One-oh pitch. Swung on, foul tip. May got a piece of the catcher, may got a piece of the umpire. No balls and two strikes to Hodge. Oh, went to the count. The pitch from Hutchison swung on, popped up straight back overhead. And drops in there safely. Umpire could have been a little quicker getting out of the way there. Catcher for the Scrappers had a hard time getting around him and trying to track down that ball. It looked playable. Tough break there for the Scrappers. But the Empire's part of the field. No balls, two strikes. 0-2 pitch. Swing on, foul tip. And the count will remain 0-2 to Hodge. And they're called strike three. Hodge ducking out of the way, but that slow curveball bent back over the inside corner. And a good pitch from Hutchison, out number one. Now that'll bring up Hudson Waldart. He takes that pitch up high, ball one. And the first strike, one ball, one strike. <laughs> one, one pitch. A uh, pie ball, two. Two balls and a strike. Two one pitch. Hit in the air to right center field and over the head of the center field. It's going to roll to the wall. Running first, heading for second is Waldorf. He'll round second. He'll dig for third. The throw coming in. It is not going to be in time. And it's a one out triple to center field from Hudson Waldorf.
Halpin went back, but the ball sailed over his head. And it'll be a runner at third base with one away for Dylan Gompers. Trying to help his own cause, put his team on top early here. One out, runner at third, the pitch. Up high, ball one. That's in the first strike, one and one. One ball, one strike to Gompers. Misses outside, two balls, one strike. That one back to the screen, two and two. Two balls, two strikes to Gompers. Two-two pitch. Misses up high, ball three. Three balls, two strikes. Three balls, two strikes, one out, runner at third base here in the bottom half of the first inning. Scrapper's trying to jump out on top early. Just misses outside, ball four, and that'll put runners at the corners. So Gompers draws the walk, and that'll bring up Ethan Sandoval, first baseman. The first pitch, a pie by one, and it's a delayed steal and no throw. So Gompers will move up to second base uncontested. That'll put runners at second and third with one away, and a one ball, no strike count to Sandoval. That one hit in the air to the right field. First baseman, he's going to get it, and over to first in time for the out. Now they got the runner hung up off at third, and they're going to chase him back. So it was actually 3-1 on the putout. I had some folks in front of me. I couldn't tell if that ball was popped up in the air or a high chopper. So it's a 3-1 putout to retire Sandoval for out number two. One run scores as Woldort comes in on the play. So a 3-1 fielder's choice to, to score Woldort. Gompers up to third now with two away. And yeah, no balls in a strike to count to Fletcher Steen. one nothing in favor of the Scrappers. And yeah, that pitch misses down low. One ball, one strike. So Gompers in third, one run in. And one ball, one strike to count to Steen. That one chop foul back. And the count goes to one and two. In there, called strike three to retire the side. In the inning for the Scrappers, however, they pick up one run on one hit. No errors, one more left on third. We will go to the top half of the second inning. Scrappers on top, one to nothing here. In this Miners Division semifinal matchup number two, the winner getting ready to take on the Thunder. They came back to win a thriller and a walk-off in the bottom of the sixth inning. That finished up about 10 minutes ago. So one nothing. Muscles drawing will come up here in the top of the second. It'll be Nico Juarez, the third baseman, Robbie Halpin, and Worth Mendez do up here for the Muscles. Again, the Muscles, the number six seed, 10 and six in the regular season. First round by, they won two earlier playoff games.
As Nico Juarez will step in to lead it off. So here's Juarez stepping in to lead off the second inning. So here's Juarez stepping in to lead off the second inning. And he takes the first pitch on the call, strike one. Pitch up high. One ball, one strike. One ball, two strikes. High inside, ball two. Two and two to Juarez, third baseman. Two, two pitch, down low ball three. The count goes full to the Muscles third baseman. Three balls, two strikes from Gompers. In there called strike three. And that'll be strikeout number four for Dylan Gompers. Third straight recorded, fourth in the last five batters. And with one away, that'll bring up Robbie Halpin, the center fielder. One out, base is empty. And oh, that one swung on, foul straight back. Caught the catcher right in the face plate, and that unspoken bound between umpire and catcher. Umpire going to go out and give the pitcher a new baseball, give the catcher time to regroup and gather his thoughts after taking a shot off the chin. Dust off the plate whether it needs it or not. Everybody seems to be okay, and that one's in there for call strike. So no balls and two strikes to Halpin. And yeah, that's strike three. Yet another strikeout. And that'll bring up Worth Mendez. So here's Mendez with two outs and the base is empty. And he takes the first pitch on the call, strike one. Oh, swung at a pitch over his head there. He'd like to have that one back in the count. 0-2 to Mendez. O2 pitch. Down low, says the umpire. The count even's up one and two. One two pitch. Brushes them off the plate. And the count even's up two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, bases empty here in the second. The pitch. Down low and the count goes full. Full count to Mendez. A 3-2 pitch. And they're called strike three. 
And Dylan Gompers has struck out the side. One, two, three, nothing across. Six strikeouts already for Gompers. And we will go to the bottom half of the second inning. Still one nothing. Scrappers on top. And for the Scrappers, it'll be Robert Schultz, Henry Hogan, and Brooks Despot do up here. And a one nothing ball game. Happy to have you with us on Vibe. Again, my name is Merle Bertrand. Maria Correa, our producer, pinch hitting. She didn't wake up this morning thinking she was going to be out here producing tonight, but we had somebody call in sick last second, so had to scramble to realign our crews with three broadcasts on the air tonight. We're also doing uh, the minor semifinal number one, which just finished up. Majors number two between the Angels and the Red Sox. That's a loser's bracket final just underway on the Majors field behind us. The winner of that game will play on Sunday night against the Astros in the championship game. They'll have to win twice. Once on, on Saturday, pardon me, once on Saturday, and if they won that one, they'd turn around and play again on Sunday. Over on the middle field, got the Braves and the Cubs going at it in the juniors division. That one should be just about done if it's not already. Tomorrow night, 5.30 7.30, Pee Wee semifinals over on the Pee Wee field. And then everybody's off on Friday. We come back for championship Saturday right here on Vipe. I like that center field camera. That's a, that's a nice shot. So here we go. Robert Schultz stepping in to lead it off. No balls and a strike. And the pitch down low evens up one ball, one strike. One one pitch. And if a call strike two. So Gompers with six strikeouts. Well, let's not forget Porter Hutchison got two strikeouts in that first inning. So he's all around the plate as well. And now the count is two and two. It remains one and two to Robert Schultz. One ball, two strikes to Schultz. No, says the umpire. The count even is up two and two. Two-two pitch. In the call, strike three. Beautiful pitch by Hutchinson. And these pitchers are lighting it up. One away, that'll bring up Henry Hogan. So Hogan will dig in from the right side. And takes the first pitch across the inside corner for strike one. Oh, one pitch. Down low. Evens up the count, one and one. One, one pitch. Swung on foul tip back to the screen, and the count goes to one and two to Hogan. One ball and two strikes. Stays up high, two and two. A pleasant, dare I say, San Diego-ish, 83 degrees in Houston, Texas on this Wednesday evening. Two-two pitch. In the call, strike three to knees. And that's the third straight strikeout, fourth overall recorded by Hutchison. So two off spaces empty for Brooks Despot. It was about 103 degrees here on Sunday. So what a difference a couple of days makes. It can stay like this for the rest of the week, and I wouldn't mind. One ball, no strikes, and going to get a mound visit here.
Thanks again to Daniel Garrigan back at the Comfy Cozy Vibe Live Studios. Keeping an eye and an ear on the broadcast. One ball, two strikes. And yeah, misses inside. I wish we had a comfy, cozy studio. He's monitoring from the living room. Two balls, no strikes to Despot. That's enough for a strike, two and one. Do a pitch. Tapper left side. And that is a foul ball. Fortunately for the muscles, Nico Juarez trying to get over to it. Got a glove on it, but it glances foul, so the count will remain to go to two and two now to Despot. Two balls, two strikes. Up high ball three, and the count is full to Despot. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Off the bat handle, that's a caught by the shortstop. Getting a great jump on it was Parker Dodson. And he makes the basket catch. And it is a 1-2-3 inning for the Scrappers here in the second inning. Nothing across. We have played through two. We'll go to the third. Still 1-0 Scrappers on top. For the Mighty Muscles here in this third inning, it'll be 9, 10, and 11 hitters. That's right, 9, 10, and 11. 12 guys, both sides at the plate, and everybody bats. So it'll be Quinn Persia, William Stewart, Montgomery Stewart, and then Robert Pyle in the 12 hole if we get that far. No score between the Angels and the Red Sox in the field behind us. They're in the bottom half of the first inning. As Quinn Persia stepping in to lead it off here for the Muscles. Yeah, that pitch down low, ball one. One ball, no strikes to Persia. Taking all the way, the pitch up high, ball two. Three balls, no strike. And that'll be a four-pitch walk to get things started here for the Muscles in the third inning. So Stewart is aboard. Second walk of the ball game surrendered by Dylan Gompers. And yeah, that'll bring a William Stewart center fielder. Here in the third inning. And ground ball right side, and it'll be stepping on first base. The three unassisted, Ethan Sandoval will take that one himself, and they're going to call it a foul ball. So foul ball to Stewart, strike one. He'll go back, and Persia will trot back to first base. And the count is 0-2 to Stewart. Just a little low, ball one. Right 
And that's in there for call strike three, and Stewart is out on strikes. So feast or famine for Dylan Gompers. He's walked two, he's hit three, or hit a batter, but he also has three, six, seven strikeouts in the ballgame now with Montgomery Stewart stepping in. And he swings to the first one for call strike one. Persia at first, one away here for Montgomery Stewart. Swing and a miss, strike two. And that one down low is going to get back to the backstop. It's going to allow Persia to move up to second base. So the Muscles have a runner in scoring position here with one out. And the count one and two to Montgomery Stewart. That pitch misses inside. Two balls, two strikes. The pitch stays up high. It'll be another walk. So runners at first and second now with one away for right field to Robert Pyle. Yeah, we're going to have another visit to the mound here. Havens Priest Ballpark. I should say ballparks. A four field complex here on the campus of the T.H. Rogers School in Houston. Home to Post Oak Little League. It's a beautiful facility. So Robert Pyle will step in and looks at the first pitch across the inside corner for strike one. Persia at second, Montgomery at first with one away. That pitch in there for strike two. No balls, two strikes. That one sails back to the backstop, and both runners are going to move up. Throw down to third. That's going to go out to the outfield, and the throw is going to come home. It's not going to be in time. Ball gets loose on the infield, and the other runner will move up to third. So it'll be 2 nothing muscles as Quinn Persia comes in to score. And Montgomery Stewart will find himself all the way over at third base. One ball, two strikes, and that's in there for call strike three, and piles out on strikes for out number two. So two outs now back to the top of the order we go to Hayes Toomey. First pitch to Toomey in the call strike one. He walked left stranded on second base in the first inning. That pitch on the first strike. No balls and two strikes. And that's strike three, and that will be the end here of the third inning. So another strikeout recorded. In the inning, though, one run on no hits. Helped out by an error. One more to left on base, and we'll go to the bottom half of the third inning. And we're tied up 1-1. It'll be 9, 10, and 11 hitters due up here for the Scrappers. It'll be Gray Peden, Daniel Saab, and Charlie Taylor due up.
So here's Gray Payton stepping in to lead off the third inning for the Scrappers. And yeah, that one brushes him back. Ball one for Payton. Inside corner for a call strike. One ball, one strike to Payton. Swing and a miss for strike two. In there, called strike three. And Peyton is out on strikes for the first out of the inning. That is strikeout number five recorded by Porter Hutchison. Yeah, the strike one to Daniel Saab. A one pitch. Swing and a miss. Swung at that one up at the eyes and the count 0 and 2. Mm -hmm. 0-2 pitch. And they're called strike three. And Saab is out on strikes for out number two. That is the fifth strikeout in the last six batters for Hutchison. And that'll bring up Charlie Taylor with two outs and the base is empty. Swing and a miss, strike one. One hops up to the plate, one ball, one strike. That's a pie two and one. Two balls and two strikes to Taylor. Swing and a miss, strike three. And Porter Hutchison strikes out the side again. One, two, three, nothing across. We will go to the top half of the fourth inning. We've got a 1-1 one, one ball game here in this minor semifinal. And it'll be the top of the order to up here for Hayes Tomey. All right, we go to the fourth inning in a 1-1 ball game. One run on one hit for the Scrappers. One run on no hits for the Muscles. And for the Muscles, it'll be the top of the order. Hayes told me to or check that heart of the order. Lucas Grammeyer, the catcher, to lead it off. Going to work against Dylan Gompers. And poke to the right side, one pitch and one out to Sandoval. So it'll be a pop out, Grandmeyer. And that'll bring a Parker Dodson with one out and the base is empty. So 
Swung on, foul back. Strike one to Dodson. Hit by a pitchless stranded at first base in the first. And the pitch down low, ball one. One ball, one strike. One one pitch, down low, ball two. Well, drop into right center field for a base hit from Parker Dodson, and with a one out, one aboard, that'll bring up Porter Hutchison. And that will be a stolen base for Dodson. Had to step away for just a second and help out one of the other crews behind me, so sorry about that. We're all good here, though. We're fine. <laughs> and the count now 2-0. and oh. And if that ball gets back to the backstop, and Dodson will be on third base. So runner at third with one out. On a count of two balls and no strikes to Porter Hutchison to get you caught up and get myself caught up here. And that pitch in there for call strike. Two balls and a strike to Porter Hutchison. That ball hit in the air to right field. Pretty well tagged. It's going to be deep enough to drive the run. It's over the head of the right field. They're going to roll to the wall. Hutchison rounding first, heading for second. He's going to round second and head for third. The throw coming in. It is not going to be in time. And it's going to be an RBI triple to right field for Porter Hutchison. And it is two to one, Mighty Muscles. Parker Dotson able to score easily on the RBI triple. And with a one out and a runner in third, one run in, that'll bring up Charlie Simmons. And that ball gets away to the backstop. The runner trying to come home to throw to the plate, and they got him. Oh, they're going to say safe. He set out at first and then he reversed himself and called him safe. So it's going to be three to one. Hutchinson coming in. And that makes it three to one muscles. Explaining it to the Scrappers coaching staff over there. Not sure they're completely satisfied, but not too much of an argument. So base is empty now with one away. And the count 0 and 1 to Charlie Simmons as the first pitch is in there for a strike. Two balls, one strike to Simmons. Pitch up high, ball three. Three one pitch. Down low ball four, and Simmons will be aboard with a walk. And that'll bring up third baseman Nico Juarez with one out, one aboard. Two runs in here for the Muscles. They've taken a 3-1 lead in this semifinal matchup. As we play here in the fourth inning. Juarez 0 for 1. He struck out in the second inning. I'll check that. They had the count wrong on the scoreboard. It was 3-1. Now it's 3-2. So 
So this is still Simmons at the plate, and the count is full. Three balls and two strikes. A little confusion there in the pitch count, but they've got it all sorted away. Three balls, two strikes. In there, called strike three, and Simmons is out on strikes. So that'll be two away, and now Nico Juarez will step in. So two outs, base is empty for Juarez, who was 0 for 1 in the game. He did strike out in the second inning. And takes the first pitch in there, calls strike one. That pitch misses. One ball, one strike. Well, one pitch. Now two and one as that pitch misses. Two balls and a strike to Juarez. Misses in the dirt. The count goes to three and one. Three balls, one strike. Two outs here in the fourth. That ball slapped and out in the left field for a base hit. So a two-out single to the left by Nico Juarez keeps the inning alive for the mighty muscles, and that'll bring up Robbie Halpin, the center fielder. Third hit of the inning here for the muscles. Halpin, 0 for 1. He struck out looking in the second inning. As we got a Mom visit here by the coaching staff of the Scrappers. Juarez standing at first base with two outs. Inning started with a pop out to first, then a single stolen base. Wild pitch put the runner at third, a triple by Porter Hutchison to score Dotson. And then Hutchinson scoring on a pass ball. Strike out to Simmons. Single by Juarez, and the count now 0 and 1 to Robbie Halpin. Yeah, that pitch way up high ball one. Juarez is going to take off the second base. He'll make it easily on the wild pitch. And it's one ball, one strike to Halpin. One two pitch. In there for called strike three. And the inning is over. So a good pitch that time once again from Dylan Gompers. But in the inning for the muscles, they do pick up two runs and they get them on three hits. No errors when we're to left on base. We'll go to the bottom half of the fourth inning. Three to one. Mighty muscles on top of the scrappers here on Vipe Live. And for the Scrappers, it'll be 12-1 and two hitters. Houston Lay to get his first at bat, and then back to the top of the order will go against Porter Hutchison. Outfield now, I believe, is Quinn Persia, William Stewart, and Robert Pyle as they alternate every inning in the outfield. Nico Juarez, Parker Dotson, Charlie Simmons, and Hayes Toomey, the infield third at first. Lucas Grattemeyer behind the plate, and Porter Hutchinson on for his fourth inning of work. Allowed one run on one hit that came in the first inning. Three, four, five, six, seven strikeouts in the ballgame for Hutchinson. So here we go to the bottom of the fourth. Houston Lay stepping in to lead it off here for the Scrappers. And he looks at the first pitch in there for call strike one. Seven, 
Pitch up high, ball two. Check that ball one. One ball, one strike. Swung on and fouls it back against the screen. One and two to Lee. One, two pitch. In there, called strike three. Strikeout number eight from Porter Hutcherson. And with one out, back to the top of the order will go to Matthew Hodge. He led off the first inning for the Scrappers by striking out. So Hodge 0 for 1 in the ball game. And yeah, that pitch up high, ball one. That's in the first strike, one ball, one strike. Misses outside, two balls and a strike. Two one pitch. Misses outside, and the count goes to three and one to Hodge, leading off the fourth inning for the Scrappers. Three one pitch. Swung on, foul back, and the count goes full to Hodge. Three balls, two strikes, a pitch from Hutchison. Swung on, foul back, good battle here. This will be pitch number eight coming up to Hodge. Two to one, Red Sox leading the Angels. We go to the third inning in the Majors loses bracket final. Winner of that one will play the Astros on championship Saturday. And that pitch inside to Hodge and he draws a one out walk. Second walk of the game surrendered by Hutchison. That'll bring up Hudson Woldord. He had the big shot, the triple. Scored the only run of the game thus far for the Scrappers back in the first inning. Put them briefly on top, one nothing. Takes the first pitch in there for strike one. Hodge dancing off for first base, trying to draw a throw from Hutchison. Poked in the air to right field, pretty well tagged, but coming on, and it's going to drop in there for a base hit. Hodge had to hold up at first base in case the right fielder pile was going to get to it, but he wasn't able to do so. So as a result, it's runners at first and second with one away. And that'll bring up Dylan Gompers trying to help his own cause. He walked in the first inning. First pitch misses. Ball one to Gompers. And the pitch up high. Two balls, no strikes. High again. The count three and no to Gompers. Three balls, no strikes, runners in first and second. We'll see if Gompers takes this pitch. He does, and it's in there for a strike from Hutchinson. Good pitch, the count three and one. That ball poked down the left field line. That ball slicing, and it is a fair ball. One runner's going to score. Running second, heading for third is Waldorf. They're going to wave him around. And the throw coming to the plate. It is not in time, and moving up to third on the throw. He's going to round third and come into home. There's a the throw, and they're going to get him at home. They got him at home. So it's going to be a two-RBI double for Dylan Gompers to left field to score both Hodge and Waldorf to tie it up at three all. Gompers takes third on the throw. 
And then he's cut down trying to come home. 2-1 for the second out of the inning. So it's two out, bases empty in a 3-3 ball game. So two outs, bases empty. Ethan Sandoval will step in. A 3-3 ball game. And that pitch in the strike one. Sandoval, an RBI field his choice in the first inning. Ground ball left side, and Hutchinson gobbles it up. Tosses over to first base to Tony, and the 1-3 putout retires the side. But a big inning for the Scrappers. They get the two tying runs, and they get it on two hits. One error, nobody left on base. Will you play through four? We'll go to the fifth. We're all knotted up, 3-3. Three, three. Over at the juniors field. Getting a report here. Let me get my get my notes straight before I start spouting up stuff off. The losers bracket final over there. There, the Braves against the Cubs. And it was the Cubs winning that one. We think nine to three at the report coming in. So the Cubs will move into the juniors into the juniors bracket, winners bracket championship game on Saturday. And how about this? It'll be the Battle of Chicago, the Cubs against the White Sox. In the juniors championship round, White Sox in the winners bracket, so the Cubs would have to win twice. If the Cubs win the first game, they'll turn around and play a second game at seven o'clock. If the White Sox win, they'll be the juniors champion. And on that note, speaking of the Cubs and the White Sox, give a shout out to my mom tuned into the broadcast in the great state of Illinois. I typically broadcast for Austin Vandergrift High School during the regular season, and I turn my mom into the number one Viper fan in the state of Illinois, and she's tuned into Post Oak Little League here tonight from Houston. And mom, as you can see, Little League here at Post Oak Little League is a little bit different than it was at the old Ashcombe Great School ballpark. We go to the top of the fifth inning. It'll be Worth Mendez due up here for the Muscles in a 3-3 ball game. Three runs on three hits for the Muscles. Three runs on three hits as well, I believe, for the Scrappers. So here is Mendez stepping in. 0 for 1. He struck out in the second inning. And he looks the first pitch up high, ball one. Swung on, foul back. The county was up one ball, one strike to Mendez. Line shot and into the glove. Nice play by the first baseman for the Scrappers. It's now Gompers, so Gompers has moved over to first base. I just caught that. We'll find out who the pitcher is here. Dylan Gompers has moved off the mound over to first base, and Sandoval has flip-flopped with him. So it's Ethan Sandoval now pitching. And Sandoval delivers the first pitch to Quinn Persia. That misses inside to Persia. Persia walked and scored the first one of the ball game for the Muscles back in the third inning. One ball, one strike. Swung on and fouled out of play to the right side. Heads up. 
A count one and two to the Muscles left fielder. One-two pitch. Just a little low. Umpire thought about it. Kind of flinched, but kept the finger in his pocket, and the count even is up two and two to Persia. That's a line shot out in the center field for a base hit. So a one-out single to center from Persia. And that'll bring up William Stewart with one out and one aboard. Now low, ball one. 3-3 three, three ball game, top of the fifth inning. They play six in Little League. Yeah, that pitch up high. The count 2-0 and oh to Stewart. Winner meets the Muck Dogs on championship Saturday at 5.30. Or check that, meets the Thunders. Pardon me. Swing and a miss for a strike. And the count two and one. They meet the Thunder on championship Saturday. The Thunder with a walk-off 6-5 win in the bottom of the sixth inning. That's in there for a strike, two and two. Muck Dogs led that one, five to four, heading into the sixth inning, but the Thunder came back and pulled it out. Two balls, two strikes to Stewart. Swing and a miss, strike three. And that'll be the first strikeout recorded for Ethan Sandoval. Dylan Gompers, by the way, recorded 10 strikeouts in his four innings of work. And that pitch in there, up high ball one to Montgomery Stewart. Stewart walked left stranded at third base in the third inning. Swing and a miss, pulled the string on that one. One ball, one strike. One one pitch. Little low, two and one. Two balls, one strike to Montgomery Stewart. And he fouls us into the right side. And it lands on the roof of the dugout. On the first base side. And the count goes two and two to Montgomery Stewart. Down low, ball three. Three balls, two strikes. The count goes full to Stewart. Bottom of the third inning in the majors semifinal number two. The Red Sox still leading the Angels two to one. In the cold strike three. Good pitch from Sandoval. And that'll do it. He strikes out two out of three. No runs, one hit, no errors. One runner left on base. We will go to the bottom half of inning number five, still tied up three apiece, and it'll be five, six, and seven hitters to up here for the Scrappers. And Porter Hudson will come out, or Hutchison will come out for his fifth inning of work. He's had eight strikeouts in the first four innings. Happy to have you with us on this Wednesday night, helping you get through your hump day a little bit. Hard to believe we are in mid-May, Memorial Day just around the corner. I'm sure these young men cannot wait for the next couple of weeks to get done, so school will be out. Thank you. 
Merle Bertrand here, Maria Carilli doing a great job pinch hitting as a producer. Thank you very much, Maria. Daniel Garrigan keeping an eye and an ear on the broadcast, making sure that we're staying out in the air and looking and sounding as good as we possibly can. Here as we go to the bottom half of the fifth inning at a 3-3 ball game. And taking the first pitch for a call strike one is Fletcher Steen. He is 0-for-1, struck out in the first inning. Slops that ball to the right side and over the glove of the second baseman out in the right field. And Steen will reach out an air. So the Scrappers have the go-ahead runner at first base for Robert Schultz, who is 0-for-1, struck out in the second inning. And they're called strike one to Robert Schultz. Going to the fourth inning in the major semifinal game. Two to one, Red Sox still on top. And that pitch misses outside and low. One ball, one strike to Schultz. Check the swing, weak swing. In that first strike, one and two. Good pitch there by Hutchison crossing him up. The one-two pitch. Called, strike three, and he knew it. Good pitch. Schultz out on strikes, and that'll bring up Henry Hogan. He struck out looking in the second inning, 0 for 1 of the game. One out here. Runner at first. Let's go, and they're called strike one. Check the swing. Did he go? Did not. He holds up, and the county was up one ball and a strike to Hogan. That one off the bat handle is going to drop down to the infield. Coming on, score to second for one, and that's all they're going to get. As Fletcher Steen kind of stuck in no man's land there, he had to hold up in case the ball was caught. And a good play there by Parker Dawson, fielding and tossing it over to Charlie Simmons. So it's a 6-4 force to take care of Steen for the second out of the inning. Hogan aboard at first on the field is choice. Now two away for Brooks Despot. He's got a count of one ball and no strikes. And now it's in there for a strike. One and one the count. So Hogan now at first, but two away. And that pitch down low, two and one. That's in the first strike, two and two. Two two pitch. Foul tip, I believe, to hang alive. Two balls, two strikes, and swing and a miss, strike three. And Despot is out on strikes for out number three. So we end the inning for the Scrappers. No runs on no hits, one air, one more to left on base. And we will go to the sixth inning, so tied up three to three. It's a one inning ball game at this point. And for the Mighty Muscles at the bottom of the order, Robert Pyle then back to the top of the order will go. So it will be Ethan Sandoval on for his second inning of work. Facing the 12, one and two hitters.
So here is Robert Pyle stepping in to lead off for the Mighty Muscles in the top of the sixth inning. He is 0 for 1, struck out looking. That happened back in the third inning. Takes the first pitch in there for call strike one. Pitch misses outside. Ball one. One ball, one strike. On one pitch. Up high, ball two. Two balls, one strike. One hops up to the plate and kicks up against the backstop, and the count goes to three and one in the pile. Up high ball four, and it's a leadoff walk. So back to the top of the order will go to Hayes Tomey, who's 0 for 1. Yeah, that pitch up high, ball 1. It's a good gust of wind kicks up here and blows everything around. Tomey 0 for 1, struck out in the third, also walked in the first inning. Pile the board at first. Yeah, that ball gets back to the backstop, and Pyle's going to be able to move down to second base. So now the go-ahead runner in scoring position for the Mighty Muscles with nobody out. And the count, two balls and no strikes to Hayes Tomey. Three and oh now to the count to Tomey. Three one pitch. And now the count's three and one. I got ahead of myself. Three balls and a strike to Tommy. The three one pitch. Inside corner called strike two. The count is full to Tommy. In there, called strike three, and Tommy is out on strikes, route number one. So one out, runner at second, that'll bring up the catcher, Lucas Granemeyer, who is 0 for 2, struck out in the first, popped out to the first baseman in the fourth. And pitch down low, ball one. Scrapper catcher going to come out and talk to his pitcher, try to calm him down a little bit. <laughs> One ball, no strikes to Grandmeyer. Way over the head, and Pyle... Going to head down to third. They got a chance. Now we're going to head back to second. Great job there by the scrapper catcher. Getting to that ball quickly. And a good job base running there by Pyle. Not to, not to commit. He saw where the ball was. Decided he better stay put. He goes back to second. The count now 2-0. and oh, And now 3-0. and oh. And that ball does get away far enough to allow Pyle to move up to third base. So the count now 3-0 and oh to Grandmeyer. And Pyle at third base on the wild pitch. So the go-ahead runner for the Muscles at third base with one away. Three balls, no strikes to Grandmeyer. Take it all the way for a strike at the letters, three and one. Now low ball four, and it's going to be runners at the corners. So Grandmeyer up to first, that'll bring up Parker Dodson. Run us at the corners with one out for Dodson. 
Dotson one for one, singled and scored in the fourth inning, also hit by a pitch in the first. So a big moment here in this game. We are in the sixth, tied up three apiece. The pitch to Dotson. Swing and a missed strike one. There goes the runner. And no throw. So an uncontested stolen base there for Grand Myers. Strike one to Dotson. Now runners at second and third with just one out. Takes away the force at second. At the knees for call strike two. No balls, two strikes. Now low ball one. The one-two pitch. Swung on, foul tipped, and he may foul that one off of himself. And he is getting up, that's good to see that one. I don't think that was a foul ball. I think he just swung through it. So Dotson is out on strikes. And there are two away. And Porter Hudson trying to help his own cause here. Two outs, runners at second and third. And now some confusion on that play. <laughs> Ron Meyer standing at second, Pyle at third. Umpire's talking it over here. So it looks like everything's going to stand at is. Runners at second and third, now two outs, and Porter Hutchinson will step in. He is one for two in the game, triples and scored in the fourth. Struck out in the first. Pitch up high, ball one. First base is open. And they're just going to walk him. They're just going to put him aboard, an intentional walk, to load the bases, get a force at any base. And that will leave it up to Charlie Simmons, who is 0 for 2 in the ballgame. Pyle at third. He started the inning with a walk. Grondmeyer at second. Now Hutchinson at first. Two outs. And Charlie Simmons will step in. So Charles Simmons steps in from the right side. And the pitch up high, ball one. In there at the letters for call strike one. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss, strike two. Sandoval, one strike away from getting out of a bases loaded jam. Simmons calls time, goes down and talks to his coach. And biggest pitch of the ball game coming up right here. One ball, two strikes, bases jammed here in a tie ball game. The pitch. Call strike three and the inning is over. Ethan Sandoval gets out of a huge jam. The mighty muscles leave the bases loaded. In the inning, no runs, no hits. 
no errors, the bases were left loaded, and we will go to the bottom half of the sixth inning. The Scrappers with a chance to walk off here. It'll be the 9, 10, and 11 hitters do up here. Gary Payton, or Gray Payton, pardon me, Daniel Saab, and Charlie Taylor do up for the Scrappers. And a new pitcher on the mound. Going to be Parker Dotson, the shortstop, coming in to take over pitching duties. So what a performance by Porter Hutchison. He went five innings of work. Gave up the three runs. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. Trying to see, it looks like Nico Juarez still over at third base. I wonder if they just flip-flopped. That would be my guess. No, doesn't look like it. Charlie Simmons at second. Okay, Porter Hutchison is now at first. So Tomey probably went to shortstop. All right, bottom of the sixth inning for the Scrappers. Championship game on the line. As the, the thunder awaits. So Gray Payton will step in and lead it off. 0 for 1 of the game. He struck out in the third. Takes the first pitch down. Low ball one. Inside corner for a strike. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss, strike two. One ball, two strikes. Called strike three, and Payton is out on strikes for out number one. That'll bring up Daniel Saab with one out in the bases empty. He's 0 for 1, struck out in the third. Going to the fifth inning in the Majors game. Still 2-1 to one Red Sox on top of the Angels. Strike one to Saab. Pitch up high ball one. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss, strike two. Parker Dodson on the hill now for the Mighty Muscles. In relief of Hutchinson. Called strike three, different pitcher, same result. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Dodson. And with two-way, that'll bring up Charlie Taylor. All four pitchers using this ball game have been on it tonight. Taylor 0 for 1. He struck out in the third. Shows bunt and gets it down up the third base side. But a good play coming off the mound by Parker Dodson. Fielded a clean, made a good throw over to Hutchison at first. And we've got extra innings here tonight in this Juniors Championship game, or this Miners semifinal game. 1, 2, 3, nothing across. We will go to the seventh inning. So we've been playing now for about 91 minutes. Just forget about it and start over. It will be six, seven, and eight hitters to up here for the Muscles in the seventh. Nico Juarez to get things started.
Three of the four games this afternoon and evening on Vipe thus far have been thrillers. Had two one-run games so far. Actually, three of the four games are one-run games at this point. The only relative blowout, a 9-3 game with the Cubs over the Braves in the junior semifinal. Loses bracket championship round, so the Cubs will move on to take on the White Sox Sunday or Saturday night. So here we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Nico Juarez, the third baseman, to lead it off for the Mighty Muscles in the top of the seventh. And the first pitch misses outside. Ball one to Juarez to lead off the seventh. Juarez helping Mendez do up for the Mighty Muscles. Swung on and a foul tip. One ball, one strike to Juarez. Ball one pitch. One hops up to the plate, two and one. Two one pitch, up high inside, ball three. Three balls, one strike to Nico Juarez. Sandoval with the three one pitch. In there for a strike and the count goes full. Three balls, two strikes. Oh, called strike three. It looked outside low, but the umpire rings him up and that's one away in the seventh. That'll bring up Robbie Halpin, the center fielder, with one out and the base is empty. Halpin over two, struck out twice. Steps in here with one out and the base is empty. In the muscle seventh. Squibbed up the first base side, but foul. And that'll be strike one to Halpin. Low and away, ball one. One ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. Up high, ball two. Two, one pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. Sandoval pulling the string on that one. Got helping out in front of it. Two balls, two strikes with one out here in the seventh. Called strike three. Third inning of work for Sandoval. And he already has two, three, four, five, six, seven strikeouts himself to go with 10 from Gompers. So two outs, bases empty for Worth Mendez. And he takes the first pitch on the call, strike one. It'll be 12, one and two hitters in the bottom of the seven, do up for the Scrappers. Call strike two. No balls, two strikes. Sandoval working from the stretch. The 0-2 pitch. High inside, ball one. One-two pitch. Popped up on the right side with the ballpark holds it. It will, and it's going to drop in there. That's a fair ball. Looked like Sandoval maybe just kind of overrun it, and it's going to be a bloop single from Mendez. 
And that'll bring up Quinn Persian. So the muscles catch a bit of a break. And in case you are wondering why that's a single not an air, it's because nobody touched it. So Mendez aboard at first. That's all that matters for the muscles. Quinn Persia will step in one for one with a single, walk and a run score back in the third. And the first pitch misses ball one. So Mendez at first with two away. Swing and a miss. Strike one. One ball, one strike. Chopper left side. Shortstop has it. Unable to get to it, and everybody's going to be safe. Runners at first and second. That'll be an E6, so runners at first and second for the Muscles getting something started here, all with two outs. That'll bring up William Stewart, who is over two on the night. Two outs, two aboard. And that pitch up high ball one. One-0 pitch. That's in the first strike. One ball, one strike to Stewart. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Sandoval worked out of a bases loaded jam in the sixth inning. He's got runners at first and second this inning, but he's one strike away from getting out of it. One ball, two strikes. Call strike three, does it again. Strikes out the side. Gave up a kind of a fluky single in an air. But nothing crossed the plate, and we will go to the bottom half of the seventh inning, still tied up 3-3. And the Scrappers with a chance to walk it off here again in the seventh inning with a 12-1 and two hitters due up. What a ball game. Both of these minor semifinals have been something else. Six to five, Thunder coming back with a walk off in the bottom of the sixth inning to break the muck dog's heart. Six to five, the final there. Here it's three three as we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Houston Lay to lead it off. Parker Dotson out for his second inning of work. He struck out two back in the sixth inning. They're playing the bottom of the fifth inning in the majors. Semifinal number two, still two to one Red Sox leading the Angels in the bottom of the fifth inning. The Red Sox have a runner at third base, it looks like, with one away. Trying to get a little insurance. The winner of that one will meet the Dodgers on championship Saturday. And we'll have to beat them twice, one on Saturday, one on Sunday, against the Astros. I think I said Dodgers. I meant Astros. I don't know why I said Dodgers. So here we go, bottom of the seventh inning. One run wins it. Houston Lay to lead it off. And ducks out of the way to the first pitch up high, ball one. Inside corner call, strike one, delay. Ground ball left side, that is a foul ball. Just past Juarez over there. 
And the count goes to one and two to Houston Lay. Dodson working from the stretch, the one-two pitch. Slap to the left side again. Shortstop gobbles it up to throw the first in time. Nice play. That is Hayes Toomey who moved over too short from first when Dodson came to take on pitching duties. And a nice play there. 6-3 put out one away back to the top of the order and Matthew Hodge we go. That one squibbed off the bat handle and into the glove. Uh, Parker Dodson and just like that there are two outs here in the seventh. And that'll leave it up to Hudson Woldard who is two for two in the ball game. Tripled and scored, bloop single and scored in the fourth inning. Steps in here with two outs and the base is empty. So Waldorf trying to get them something started here with two outs. Ground ball left side and gobbled up by short to throw to first in time, 6-3 put out. Toomey again, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing across in the seventh inning. Can you believe it? We're going to go to the eighth. So we go to the eighth inning. It'll be 11-12 and one hitters do up here for the muscles. Stewart, Pyle, and then Hayes Toomey do up for the Mighty Muscles. Scrapper's got one in the first to take a one nothing lead. Muscles tied it up with one in the third, got two in the fourth to take a three to one lead. Scrapper's tied it up in the bottom of the fourth at three all and we've been there ever since. Muscles left the bases loaded in the sixth. Left runners at first and second in the seventh. We'll see what happens here in the eighth. They've gone to the top of the sixth in the majors semifinal. Three to one, Red Sox over the Angels. So the Angels who dropped their semifinal game to the Astros earlier this week in the game we had on Vibe. Fighting for their lives, they need two to extend their season. That game also on Vibe.com. Justin Barbosa, Gentry Williams with the call of that one over there. About 20 feet behind us. So here we go, Montgomery Stewart to lead it off. He is 0 for 1 in the game, struck out, also walked in the third inning. And takes the first pitch on the inside corner, strike one. Brushes off the plate that time, one ball, one strike. One one pitch, one hops up there in the count two and one. Montgomery Stewart, Robert Pyle, then back to the top of the order and Hayes Toomey will go. Two one pitch from Sandoval, he's in his fourth inning of work. Yeah, that pitch stays up high and the count goes to three and one. Dylan Gompers pitched the first four innings. Been three plus thus far for Ethan Sandoval. And that pitch paints the outside corner for a strike. Three and two to Stewart. Okay. 
Swing and a miss, strike three. And Stewart is out on strikes for out number one. That is the ninth strikeout recorded by Sandoval. That will bring up Robert Pyle, who is 0 for 1. He struck out in the third inning, walked, left stranded on third in the sixth. And that pitch in there for a call, strike one to Pyle. A one pitch. And there for strike two. No balls, two strikes to Robert Pyle. And that pitch sails high and away, ball one. One ball, two strikes. Called strike three on the inside corner, and there are two away. So two outs, bases empty, back to the top of the order, and Hayes Toomey will go. 0 for 2, struck out twice, also walked, left stranded at second, back in the first inning. Swings on that pitch and fouls it straight back overhead, strike one. So struggling at the plate tonight, but Toomey's had a nice job out in the field. Taking over shortstop, recording a couple of nice put outs last inning. No balls and a strike to Toomey. That one popped up down the right field line. That ball is a fair ball. Riding first, heading for second is Toomey. He's going to round second and head for third. Outfield just now getting the ball. They're going to wave him around. Nope, they're going to hold him up at third. And a good thing he did because the throw came in. But. It is a two-out double into the right field, a two-out triple, pardon me, into the right field corner from Hayes Toomey. And the Muscles have the go-ahead runner at third base with two away. Lucas Graumeyer will try to bring him in. Down low, ball one. One oh pitch. Down low ball two. Two balls, no strikes to Granemeyer. Now they got the runner hung up between third and home, and the ball gets loose on the infield, and the run will score. So the Muscles take a 4-3 lead on sort of an inadvertent stolen base. Toomey kind of got himself hung up between third and home, but he just outraced the defense, and it's 4-3 Muscles, and the count now 2-1 and one to Grandmaya. Scrapper's catcher threw down to third, but... Toomey just outraced the throw home. And that pitch up high, three and one, now to Grandmeyer. So four, three, muscles on top. Two outs, bases empty. Ooh, that's a delay call for a strike. He shakes his head, yeah. When you're the catcher, you don't want to anger the umpire. Three balls, two strikes. Called strike three and the inning is over, but the two out triple by Toomey pays off. Sandoval strikes out the side again, but the muscles scratch out a run. And we will go to the bottom half of the eighth inning. The muscles are four or three outs away from a 4 3 win. They've gone final in the field behind us. And the Red Sox have won that ball game three to one.
Angels managed to get runners at second and third with two outs, but a strikeout ends the ball game. So the Red Sox will take on the Astros in the Majors Championship game on Championship Saturday. If the Astros win, they're the champs. If the Red Sox win, they'll play again Sunday night. In this one, it's 4-3 Mighty Muscles, but it's dangerous hitters coming up here for the Scrappers. They're three, four, and five hitters. Gompers, Sandoval, and Steen do up to go to work against Parker Dotson, who is trying to close it out to get the win. Four runs and six hits thus far for the Muscles. Three runs on three hits for the Scrappers. Both teams have used two pitchers. All four pitchers have been very effective tonight. Lots and lots of strikeouts. Parker Dodson gathering himself behind the mound, waiting for Dylan Gompers to step in. Gompers has been a tough out tonight. He had a two RBI double in the fourth inning and scored. Actually, no, he uh, moved to third on the throw, was cut down trying to score. Also, Walker stranded at third. So Gompers, one for one with a walk to lead it off here for the Scrappers. Takes the first pitch in there, call strike one. So we are the last plane in the runway. Last game still going tonight. We started about 40 minutes before the majors game, just for the record. Yeah, that pitch up high, ball one. One ball, one strike to Gompers. Swung on a foul back out of play to the right side, and the count goes to one and two to Gompers. Thanks again to Daniel Garrigan, giving up his wins tonight, making sure that we're staying on the air and looking and sounding good. One ball, two strikes. Just missed outside, two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Swung on, foul tip, Gompers just gets a piece of it to hang alive. Dodson working from the stretch. The 2-2 pitch. Swung on, foul tip, the battle will continue. This will be pitch number seven coming up. Two balls, two strikes, the pitch. Swung on, popped up left side, and it's going to drop, and he's going to beat it out. A little miscommunication there on the Muscles defense. And Gompers reaches on a leadoff single on the infield, and that'll bring up Ethan Sandoval. So the tying run aboard here for the Scrappers. They need one to extend their season, two to win it. And pitch in the call, strike one. Sandoval over two. Grounded into an RBI field as choice back in the first inning. And then tapped out to the pitcher. Ground ball right side. They're going to go to second for one to throw to first. In time for a double play. A 1-4-3 double play. No hesitation by Parker Dodson. Simmons alertly covering second. Actually, that was Tommy covering second, so 1-6-3, and it's two out, bases empty. So it'll be up to Fletcher Steen now with two outs and the base is empty. So 
So Steen's a last at bat here for the Scrappers, and he takes the first pitch up high, ball one, and they almost get hit by a errant baseball here. Steen 0 for 2, reach on an error in the fifth inning. Pitch up high, 2 and 0. Oh. Two old pitch, a pie ball three. So it was either a one four three or a one six three double play. I honestly, from this angle with traffic in front of me, could not see who was covering second base, but it was a double play nonetheless. But the tying run will come right back down to first base as Fletcher Steen draws a two out walk. So the tying run back aboard with two away for Robert Schultz, who was 0 for 2 in the night. Conference called around the pitcher's mound. That beautiful facility here, Haven's Priest Ballpark. Four beautifully tended to baseball fields. It's interesting, I don't know how you can see it on your camera. The infield seriously drops off. The infield's about a foot higher than the outfield. There is a serious drop off and it's out of all four ballparks. So here we go, Schultz will step in and he takes the first pitch in there, call strike one. Steen, the tying runner first, but two outs. We're in the bottom of the eighth. Swing and a miss, strike two, and the Scrappers are down to their final strike. Dodson trying to close it out. Schultz trying to keep it alive. No balls, two strikes. Henry Hogan on deck if Schultz can extend the ball game. Dodson has the sign, the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three, and that's the ball game. And the mighty muscles that defeated the Scrappers, and they will play on championship Saturday against the Thunder. What a ball game as a mob scene around the mound. It took eight innings to decide it. But four to three, your final score, the muscles get the victory. They improved to 13 and six overall, and the Scrappers. A fine season coming to an end this spring with a final mark of 14-5 and 1 for the Scrappers. So coming up on Saturday, actually to, on uh, tomorrow night, we'll have the Pee Wee semifinals first here on Vibe. It'll be 5.30 and 7.30. And uh, for those ball games, it will be Kyle Harris and Gentry Williams with the call on that one. We'll be off Friday, and on championship Saturday, it will be as we mentioned, I'll make sure I got this right here. Yeah, it'll be the Thunder against the Mighty Muscles. That will be at 5.30 on the East Field. It'll be the Astros and the Red Sox in game number one on the East Field. That'll be part of a doubleheader on Saturday night. It'll be the White Sox and the Cubs in game number one on the Juniors Field at 5 o'clock. If they have game number two, that'll be at 7 o'clock. And we'll have the Pee Wee Championship as, game on, as well on Saturday night at 7 o'clock. But for now, that's going to do it. I want to thank our producer, Maria Carrillo, did a great job coming in, filling in for us this afternoon. Daniel Garrigan, our QA, back at the Comfy Cozy Vibe Live Studios. Thank you, sir. Rosie Vega, Cine Vincon, our technical director. Thank you all for tuning in. Thanks to Shane Hilder, Justin, uh, uh, Justin Bull, everybody with Vibe Media for all their support. My name is Merle Birch, and signing out from now, congratulations to the Scrappers on a great season. And congratulations to the Mighty Muscles. They will move on to Championship Saturday, and we'll have those games for you right here on Vipe Live. Good evening, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow night for more baseball right here on Vipe. Good night, everybody.